Well, I think the biggest challenge um, for Jamal is don't be bored with the process. Em embrace the process. It's hard being good. There is no guarantees. That's why I chuckle when people talk about uh, how good our team's going to be. How do you know? I have no idea. You know, I know what we lost. You know, part of our part of our problem with our program is a little bit like what Jamal's going through. You know, you, you got to be willing to pay the price every single day. Um, and that's not coach speak. Um, I, know, I know how hard it is to be good every year. It is difficult. Uh, and if anybody should appreciate that, that is the fans of University of Houston because where this program was. You know, don't don't take what we do for granted. Don't take what these kids are. Every team is a uh, brand new book. Uh, you, you, you finish the last chapter, last paragraph. Uh, read the last word, you close it, you think back on what a great book it was, how much you enjoyed it, and then you start in with another book, and it's hard to get into it because it, it's therein lies the process, uh, and that's what Jamal's going through. Um, but um, Jamal, you know, the year, his freshman year was the COVID year. It was our Final Four year. Um, and I could see his growth during practice um, for a long time there. Of course, everything was choppy. We were up and we were in and out of practices and all that stuff. But, um, you know, as I was watching Quentin Grimes growth and Dejan becoming more solid, um, watching Justin um, Gorham, um, the guy that jumped out was uh, how far behind Jamal was. You know, it's just a whole different animal for him, as it is for all high school kids, like it is for right now for Jairus Walker. Um, but second semester, uh, January, February, uh, I started feeling more comfortable with him. You know, and he, he was doing it when nobody was looking. Um, he was preparing himself for when it really counted. And for him, when it really counted, it was last year. So he was a non-factor uh, to the people that watched uh, his freshman year, but the coaches and his teammates saw it. And that's why uh, last year, when it came time for him to have his moment, he was ready. But now, but now you, you got to keep repeating the process. You're starting over every day. You know, the two most insignificant days for uh, athletes is yesterday and tomorrow. They, they, they mean nothing. Um, you just have to find some joy in the process and embrace it and, un and understand it's not easy. I think uh, that's a big part of uh, Jamal going forward. Um, but he has natural leadership abilities. Um, he's gotten bigger and stronger um, as he's gotten older. I mean, a lot of that is, is just evolution. But uh, his three-point shooting has really improved. His free throw shooting has improved. Uh, decision making is getting better. Um, you know, we had a five, we had we did a lot of five on five work uh, yesterday morning, and uh, you you can tell certain guys have really uh, improved. Um, but that was yesterday. How about today? How about tomorrow? So I don't get excited about a game or a practice. I I want to see that there there's a consistency there that will define you, not a moment.